Hi, I'm Kennedy St. King. Get ready for the hottest Hollywood headlines. It's O News. You're watching O News. O News, mate. You're watching O News. O News. You're watching O News. <laughs> o News. You are watching O News. O News. Last time we asked you to rearrange these letters to form a Los Angeles district. And the answer, of course, is Lolly Doho. Coming up, an exclusive look at the medical drama that's sweeping the nation Cake Hospital. Cake knife. Piping bag. Sponge. I mean a sponge to mop my brow. Sorry, doctor. And we reveal Simon Cowell's latest talent show, America's Best Male Prostitute. You are by far the worst male prostitute I've ever had. It's all change at the Playboy Mansion, where Hugh Hefner has decided to put age before beauty. I have nothing in common with those younger girls. They looked up to me as a kind of a great, 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 great grandfather figure. But this week's hottest story is the king is back. And O News was there to welcome his return. After nearly dying on the toilet in 1977, Elvis became a recluse, battling his food addiction. I was all out of burgers and meat and, and uh, hot dogs. I was so hungry that I got my chef to fry me up some golf balls, and then I ate them one by one. That was a sad night in Graceland. As the weight increased and the sales declined, in 1991, Elvis collaborated with West Coast rapper Cypress Hill. I'm gonna get with my homies. I'm gonna get with my homies. I like those Cypress Hill boys, but the hip hop got less and less, and we got stoned more and more. And now look at that picture of myself, I think. That is one fat Elvis Aaron Presley. I lost my musical direction, and all respect for my body. But now I'm back, I'm on the right road, and uh, I got a great new song. Oh, no. Anthony Hopkins fears for his life as Hannibal Lecter is released from prison. I'm very surprised as I always thought he was a fictional character. Cake Hospital causes outrage with its most controversial storyline yet. Daniels, take a look at this. What is it? Oh my God. We better call forensics. I think this donut's been raped. Oh news. Last time we asked you who was born in what year? Well, the answer, of course, is Keanu Reeves was born in 1964. And with a sexy new look, the king has gone back to doing what he knows best. Well, I sent you an email, but it came back right away, saying unknown or illegal. follows and I don't understand what that means no I don't understand what that means sadly since that interview was taped Elvis Presley has died after swallowing what he thought was a fake suicide pill. Mel Gibson talks about his latest movie, The Sarcasm of the Christ. If you desire to enter the kingdom of God, then go out and murder somebody. Oh yes, that's a great way to get into heaven. He's being sarcastic. If you read the Bible, I mean really read the Bible, you'll discover that Jesus was a very, very sarcastic guy. But this week's biggest story concerns a little gold man. Eyes Closed News was the first to break the story. The original design was modeled on the face of movie producer Oscar Malloy, and the statue has remained unchanged for almost 60 years. But this year, the award has been given a radical new look by controversial designer Keyhole. But O News has this exclusive. O News exclusive. You can't
Academy saw what I did with the American flag and they liked my redesign of the club sandwich. So I guess they thought, this is our guy. So what's different about the new design? Well, he's like going, yes, I've won. You know, he's like totally psyched. And totally naked. Yes, he's anatomically correct, big deal. Last time we asked you, whatever happened to 80s pop star Gary Newman? The answer is, he became Gary Oldman. Oh, no. Some people aren't happy about the Academy's newest member. Alan Alda revealed himself to be a real Oscar grouch. I think it's ludicrous, preposterous. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous, and it makes a mockery of the Oscars. And by the way, that pee, -pee that's a big mistake. I mean, that's a no-no. But not everyone is against the idea. Uh, I think it's absolutely breathtaking. Uh, it, is, uh, it is awesome. I think an inclusion of a penis is always a very good idea. And some people were still undecided. Yes, I know. I do like it. I do. I really do. I think it's... No, I don't really like it, no. But the Dalai Lama gave it his blessing. It is uh, a beautiful, beautiful thing. You have one, I have one. <laughs> Thank you for talking to O News, Your Holiness. Thank you very much. Come on, baby. Okay. Okay? The season premiere of The Apprentice airs this week, and O News was invited to the home of its star, debonair billionaire Donald Trump. This season of The Apprentice is going to be the greatest ever. The rewards are greater, and the stakes are higher. I think you did a fantastic job. You're all going to be taken to the Trump International Hotel, and every one of you will make love with Donald Trump. Now, the losers, you did a bad job. I'm afraid, I'm sorry to say, you've all got cancer. And Mr. Trump still had time to show us around his home. This gold table was made for Louis XIV. It's one of only two in existence. The other one is nailed to the ceiling. Welcome to my bathroom. I recently purchased the world's most beautiful painting, the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. But I had it altered to make it even more beautiful. This is my car. I designed it myself. It's the classiest automobile in the world. It really is a fantastic car. So join me, Donald Trump, for The Apprentice. And remember, if you don't watch, I now have the power to fire you from your own job. Please don't fire me, Donald. <laughs> And last, the worst kept secret in Hollywood is out. Of the closet, that is. Hugh Hefner has finally announced that he is gay. Homosexuality is not just part of who I am, it is who I am. Sly Stallone tells us about the new Rocky movie. Uh, well, yo, know, Rocky is actually dead at the start, you know? And uh, then Paulie finds uh, serum and uh, brings the body back to life. And, uh, and the court has a fight with uh, Apollo Creed's ghost. Oh, news. Hollywood is in shock this week after comedian Robin Williams used the X word live on stage. Wow. Imagine Elmer Fudd on crack cocaine. What would that sound like? Oh, rabbit! Oh, get back here, you yeah. Hey, it's just a word. What's the matter with you? I think it's disgusting that uh, Mr. Williams used the X word. Nobody should use that word, except for the <laughs> themselves. First up, though, people like to be moved at the movies. But at Hollywood's latest big premiere, the stars were moved in a different way. The movie that's got these stars shaken up is the newest masterpiece from art house director David Lynch. The movie is a carefully calculated assault of surrealistic imagery designed to provoke the condition of diarrhea. So will it make a big splash, or will it just be another plop in the ocean? I've seen a lot of movies. Some made me cry, some made me laugh, but I never seen one that made me do this. I enjoyed it. However, uh, I would not recommend it as a date movie. I thought it was ludicrous, preposterous, uh, a, a ridiculous movie, and in very poor taste. And by the way, this movie did not give me diarrhea. If anything, I feel constipated. Rhyming psychologist Helen Ballin gave us her take. In the words of Sigmund Freud, 
This movie you must avoid. And the movie even won over its staunchest critic. Oh boy, oh dear. Uh, where's the bathroom? Show me where the bathroom is. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> I hope he's stocked up on toilet paper. Emotions run high in the dramatic season finale of Cake Hospital. Two, three, four! Ah! Michael, Michael, it's gone, it's gone, just leave it. I know, I know. Oh, God! Oh, news. Al Pacino is back on Broadway. This time it's an adaptation of The Godfather with a difference. I love the theater. Theater is where I started in this one-man show. I. I play all the characters. In some scenes, I'm playing hundreds, hundreds of characters. Who is that over there? The scary looking man. Oh, he is a man who works for my father. Such a dramatic story. There's no set, no props. Just Al. Okay, you can't leave me. We're married, right or wrong. Michael, I hate you. Oh, oh, oh. I thought. There weren't many musical numbers in the original movies. And that is something that I love. I started as a singer. Oh, what's this? A horse's head. What's it doing at the bottom of the bed? I wrote all of the songs. Some are very moving. You're not a brother to me. You're not a sister to me. You're not a friend to me. You're not a mister to me. What did we get it down to? I think it's uh, 19 hours. And there is, a, there is an interval, so. Thanks, Al. The show looks good, fella. <laughs> Last time we asked you, where does Homer Simpson work? Almost too easy, huh? <laughs> the answer is, of course, he works on the set of the TV show, The Simpsons. George Lucas tells O News about yet another new version of Star Wars. I've been criticized for the use of CGI and special effects in my movies. I really wanted to uh, go back to basics, and that's what I that's what I think we did with this new version. It's basically uh, the scrolling text that you see at the beginning of the movies now continues right the way through. It's just the words. It's just the words. What could be more exciting than your own imagination? And John Cleese's sex video gets downloaded 20 million times. Go! Come on, stop messing around with your phone. Get it! They say there's no such thing as bad publicity, and they're right. I mean, the sales of the Faulty Towers DVDs have gone through the roof. Stay with us, because in a moment, we'll take a look at the rise of plastic surgery in Tinseltown. Don't go away, we'll have a full report in three seconds. Plastic surgery is on the rise in Tinseltown, and O News has this exclusive report. Meet the man who put the hills on Beverly. A couple years ago, the most popular procedure was baby crown. Now, his most popular, face wipe. I uh, smooth over face with skin, no wrinkles. Beautiful. So who in Hollywood has had a face wipe? Uh, I love it. I should have had this done years ago. An actor's face should be a blank canvas, and now mine is. Some people have called me Al Pacino face, and I don't like that. My face is made from solid 18 karat gold. It cost over $25 million. It is the best face in the world. It's also very heavy. Uh. Alan Alda urges people to face up to reality. I think it's ridiculous. It's ludicrous, preposterous. I mean, why can't people grow old gracefully? And by the way, how do these people breathe and see and speak? And eat. Don't ask me, Alan. You certainly haven't wiped the smile off my face. <laughs> I'll see you next time on O News. <laughs>